a family now offering a $250 reward to the person who helps bring them their pet raccoon back home. Yeah, the animal, not your typical raccoon, we're told. Her name is Juliet, and she lets herself out of her family's home and out into the wild over the weekend. Mary Mills shares what Juliet means to her family in Martinsville and why right now they are so desperate to find her. Julie... Cat Crafter and her husband, Ken, have been searching for Juliet the last three days. Julie. I'm really worried because she's really not capable of taking care of herself. Juliet is Kraft's pet raccoon and work partner. Kraft is a wildlife rehabilitator. These came as babies. She came in injured. She couldn't climb. She's about ready to be released. She cares for injured animals, cares for them until they're well enough to be released. She's had Juliet since she was nine months old. Unlike Max, her mate, Juliet is tame. She plays with Kraft's dogs and likes people. Kraft takes her to schools, camps, and senior centers to teach people about Indiana wildlife. But Sunday morning, Juliet up and left through the front door. This is how the door was when we came down at 3.30 in the morning. We didn't lock the deadbolt. We just locked the bottom, and she just turned this she has hands, like we do. That's why everything is under lock and key. All the cabinets have to be locked because she, she'll open everything. While Juliet isn't afraid of people, Kraft knows people may be afraid of her if she walks up to them or tries to get in someone's house, and it may not end well for Juliet. Devastated. I have to get her back. And I'm trying not to talk about it because I'm going to start crying again. She's my baby. She really just is. Kraft says time is of the essence. Juliet doesn't have a fur coat, and as the temperatures continue to get colder, she fears Juliet won't be able to survive much longer. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Yeah, but